Hi everyone. Today, why not join us on a little nature walk in our local woodlands? You too can do exactly the same thing. You need a woodland, a parkland, your garden, a field, the school field. You just need to go outside. There's so much wildlife to be seen in England, in Britain. Come and join us. see some amphibians down at the local pond in the woods, toad tadpoles. Now, over the years, this pond has dried up more and more each summer. They're getting drier, the summers are getting drier. Our local ponds and ditches definitely are last in the distance, a lot of them. People often say, how do you know they're toad tadpoles or frog tadpoles? Well, when they get to this kind of size, the best way I can describe it when you're looking at them in the glance, Toad tadpoles tend to look like they've got shorter tails and they look much, much blacker. Frog tadpoles tend to get bigger, longer tails, and they look browner as they get bigger. It's not easy, but you kind of get used to it. Anyway, good start to our little herping trip out today. See what else we can find. A slow worm, I reckon. You ready? What do you think? Toad. You think that's how it Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Bloody hell. Oh, sorry, children. <laughs> oh, oh, it's so cute. Look at that. Common toad. We can lift him up just so we can put the log back down. And then we'll pop him right next to it so we can get back under his little house. Hold him up, let's have a little look at him. What have we got him? Hold on. Be still. See him doing his beautiful eyes. Hold on. Might be called a common toad. He's blooming handsome, look at that. Let's pop him back. Your house. Super fine. Nice yes. one. I got yeah. something. <gasps> oh, they like me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, last year's slow worm now. Look at that, perfect replica. Look he's going. Don't know what, oh no! That's right, it's the game, go. Don't know why he wants to there. Look how he made it tell you even on that slippy surface. Bit of hard work for him, bless him. Hooey! <laughs> just saying about wildflowers just as amazing and interesting as maybe the wild animals. Well, nearly so for us. Look at this, on a little reasonably well trodden footpath. Beautiful wild orchid. Listen, I've said this before. Britain's got wildlife to rival anywhere in the world. Never mind the tropics. Get your kids, get your young younger siblings, get yourselves out. Out such get outside anywhere. See what's out there. Fascinating world of animals and nature. Well, we're actually out today looking if we can. We're trying to spot reptiles and amphibians in our local woodland. But it doesn't matter what, even if you're a fisherman, you're looking for fish. When you're out in nature, keep your eyes open, look around. It's just packed full of wonderful stuff, beautiful stuff. And we've just stumbled across a nettle bed absolutely full of peacock butterfly caterpillars. Now, you guys know the peacock butterfly. This is one of our most beautiful British butterflies. But look at these. They're eating stinging nettles. Stinging nettles are a great place to look for British invertebrates teeming with wildlife. 
these are absolutely gorgeous the nettles offer them some protection as do the spikes on their backs these guys huddle together they're not very nice things to eat and they're on something that's not very nice to approach safety in numbers too absolutely beautiful the sort of thing that makes a childhood naturalist come alive and have a thirst for more what else can we find and we're going to see what else we can find for you guys today but for now take a look because these things the very hungry caterpillars they will grow fast they'll pupate they'll turn into chrysalis and soon we'll have beautiful peacock butterflies from most of those guys there it's a really delicate butterfly the wood white look at that almost like a little fairy Once you're out in the wilds a little bit, it's not just it's not just animals. It's not just your target species. We, like we keep saying, we're looking for reptiles and amphibians today. And as I mentioned earlier, even just a fisherman, what he does, he immerses himself in nature, sitting on the riverbank, much like we're doing, looking for reptiles. Birds are singing. Loads of road noise here. Birds are singing. And as much as animal life, the wildflowers and plants, absolutely stunning. It's late spring, early summer now. These wild roses, you can keep your, your big fancy garden roses. Delicate beauty of nature. Beautiful, look at that. Okay, this pond's in the dark, dank woodland. No sunlight at all, hardly. No pond life at all, just rotten leaves from above. And this one's full of frog tadpoles. Have a look, look how much longer his tail is. I know how much browner he looks in comparison to those sort of short-tailed, quite dark, almost black toad tadpoles. Absolutely gorgeous. Isn't it amazing when you think about it? How this guy is going to turn into a frog and metamorphose. Very weird, isn't it? A vertebrate like you and me, it's got a backbone and a skeleton inside it when it's a frog. But it changes like that. Let's pop him back. Well, our trip pretty much done for today we've got to get home and look after our own animals but what i'd like to say to all of you guys please share this video to anyone that has children any teachers you know because this year with the covid19 there probably hasn't been a better spring and summer in modern history for you guys to get your kids outside into outside places into the countryside and really start appreciating the natural world it's free to do and it will give you and your kids a lifetime of interest and visual beauty. I implore you, get out there, please, and take your kids with you. See what you guys can find, and we hope you've enjoyed seeing what we found in our short walk this afternoon. Like and subscribe. <laughs>